Hello, I'm Larry Richardson, the president and CEO of the YMCA of York and York County and the CEO also of the Lancaster Family YMCA. And I'm gonna talk about our merger here just in a few minutes. But before I do that, as we cross over into the fall of the year, going towards the end of 2020, it's been one heck of a ride, I think we all would agree. But we wanna encourage you to consider coming back to the Y if you're not at the Y right now, or if you've been part of our family in, in the past. We know that, and what we've learned in the past year, that everyone desires community and the YMCA is an expression of our community and we would love to have you back. We have a lot of special things going on right now. We continue to maintain our safety protocols and pay attention to what's happening in the safety of COVID-19 virus and the current variant, but our YMCAs are clean, they're safe, we're adhering to any uh, governmental mandates that are out there and we're attentive to that. We know that you need community and we know that you wish to have have socialization and the YMCA's in Lancaster and York are ready to meet those needs. However, we also want to make sure that you know all about our virtual platforms that we have. These are accessible and free to members and if you're not a member it's also free to you. This is a robust platform we've built over the last um, 18 months along with 50 other YMCA's very professionally and well done and it can meet your healthy lifestyle needs and your need for health and fitness and so that's very easy to, for you to tap into and become a member, if you will, of the virtual platform. So we'll hope that you'll consider even engaging in those offerings that we have for our members. Thirdly, I want to talk to you a little bit about if you're looking for some work. We always are in need of staffing right now, particularly in areas of frontline care and child care, uh, membership service representatives, lifeguards, swim instructors. If you're not working currently and you need a full-time job, we have full-time positions. If you are working and would just like to work a little bit, we have these as, as open part-time positions. It's an opportunity to make a difference in our community, to make a difference in someone's life each and every day, where we strive to live our cause by being welcoming, nurturing, being genuine, remaining hopeful, and being that in our community, which builds our community one person at a time and builds a stronger community. We have nice benefit packages, a very, uh, very nice uh, retirement package, and also uh, you get membership benefits by being a one of our employees part-time or full-time. And finally, I want to talk to you a little bit about the merger that you may have heard of between the Lancaster Family YMCA and the YMCA of York and York County. To kind of shorten or condense the conversation, we have, have all the votes have been approved, the membership and the boards, uh, those votes have already taken place. We have filed our petition, the plan of merger to the Attorney General's office. Once they approve it, that will be then sent to the Lancaster Orphans Court for approval. Once that's approved, we can then file it with the State Department of Corporations and the merger will be finalized. We expect that to take place on or before December 1st, where we will then become one YMCA, where the Lancaster Family YMCA will be merged into the York YMCA and the name will change to reflect the Lancaster community and the York community to the YMCA of the Roses. That will be the process. There won't be a lot of change, but there will be some changes that we'll have to make in terms of the branding and some of our program offerings and how they're offered and maybe even some of the people you will see. But we will not shirk on the mission and the cause of the YMCA in Lancaster and in York who have both been in existence for over 165 years and we're now privilege to provide that mission and that cause across a broader geographical footprint here in South Central Pennsylvania. Regardless if you're a member, you're a volunteer, you're a donor, you work for us, just are familiar with the YMCA, you took swim lessons as a young child, or you came to day camp as a young child, or even were involved in another YMCA in another community. We know the YMCA brand is one of the top three to five brands in the nation, and we want to make sure that you know that we want you to be a part of our organization in whichever, any way you choose, and understand that we are stronger together.